Hello friends and welcome. Thank you for joining me again today for some more Endless Space 2. My name is Sean and when we left off we were fighting fighting for a lot of stuff over here in McKay. We are up against a very powerful enemy and we're basically just throwing everything we can at them, trying to hold back, hold them back. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean that's that's where we left off. So uh, no uh, no use in uh, uh, hemming and hawing or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to just sit here and yammer. We're going to uh, continue trying to fight these guys. So, uh, you know, I think I might send this... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I should keep some of these guys at Sumalof. I, where are these guys headed? You know what I mean? They could be headed straight for Sumalof. How are they even flying... Like, they seem to be flying in a very weird direction. I don't know what's going on there. Uh, okay. Well, all of our idle ships have been accounted for. So, I guess we've got four ships going on there. We've got this guy heading back that way for some reason. We've got these guys heading down. Okay, so you're... I don't know what's going on. Let's just end the turn. Probably going to have another fight over here in McKay. No, they're trying to invade, aren't they? And we're really struggling with that. I see a couple more ships popped up on our radar. So we've got a few more ships coming in. Yep. We are going to win this fight, I'm pretty sure. Although, looking at those numbers is not a very good indicator. But it looks like we've killed off all of their troops. So I like that. Academy power is increased. I don't really care about that. I've got more uh, experience for governors, which is good, I suppose. Got some happiness in food. Uh, influence production. Considerably more influence production. I think I'm actually going to go with that one. Um, happiness and manpower. Uh, but this guy is not going to be in the Senate. He's a militarist. I guess the militarists could take over. Um, have, has our uh, diplomatic government taken over yet? Alright, so we had that where he's building uh, luxury resources. Food. Shield absorption. Whatever those things mean. Movement points. Dust cost. Damage on ships. Industry. Let's go with that one. All right, apply skill. Um, all right, so Sean is still an LOPO, which means he's producing a lot of extra uh, luxury resources, which is good. And it looks like that's the best place to keep him. Rodriguez has the potential to produce all sorts of goodies, but uh, half of them, unfortunately, are on a planet that we can't use, which is very annoying. Um, if I go to this, well, tell me this planet cannot be colonized. Whereas these other ones at least tell me what my missing technology is. So I don't think there's ever going to be a thing I can colonize. I can start terraforming, though, which is nice. So if I were to terraform this to desert, I would lose industry, but I would gain happiness and uh, food. And we probably could use some happiness here. So you know what? I can actually go ahead and terraform that. This lava one, I could terraform to desert as well, which would give us the same benefits. So, um, I don't know why it didn't, why did that not show up in our, uh, huh, maybe you can only do one at one, one at a time. Uh, let's see if we have any other potential terraforming, like this ash planet, for example. If I were to terraform that to desert, Again, more food and happiness at the cost of industry. But I feel like this system's probably pretty happy already, yeah. So I don't know that that's really going to be necessary. The food would just get turned into industry anyways, because that's where all of our food is going. So there's not a lot of point in doing that. Now, we could eventually, like this desert planet, we can terraform that into savanna or arid. And if we were to transform that to arid we would get a slight food boost for a loss of uh, dust 
and we wouldn't get a population change or anything. So I don't think I really want to do that. Now there's a, um, uh, if we found another arid planet, I don't know that we have any in our systems. Ice, so now the ice one we might want to, uh, might want to boost to something warmer. It would cost us science. But it would give us more population and happiness. I think I'm actually going to do that. Um, how about this Quentin planet? Yeah, it's already a uh, temperate savanna, so we don't want to do anything. Firmer. So this jungle, jungle is hot, so we could eventually terraform into jungle, I believe. Oh, there's an arid planet. We don't have the right terraforming process for that, so... Um, but uh, once again, uh, there's a great series of videos that were made by the... Um, oh, see, I could get two more population if I tra transform this to desert. I still don't know whether that's really worth it or not. Ah, but what I could do is is uh, colonize this planet if I'm so worried about po more population. Uh, anyways, uh, Wavern's World made uh, a uh, great uh, uh, thing on terraforming, and it includes a little chart on like the terraforming paths for planets and stuff. And it's uh, really handy if you want to learn more about terraforming. I, I highly recommend. I highly recommend all of his videos. Like he makes some really amazing videos. Um, all right, these guys can be upgraded. Good. We're just not running out of our resources yet. All right. That's an Ed. So Ed, can go back up here. Down here, we're gonna send these guys that way. I think this fleet we're gonna leave here just to hold, hold, hold the fort. So none of these guys, we can't can't really upgrade these guys. But what we could do is uh, just send them to fight without the upgrades. Because that's we're just gonna keep throwing throwing ships at the uh, throwing ships at the bad guys till we till we kill them. All right, Christian, you've got all your planets colonized. There's not any terraforming to do, but we could do some some uh, um, specialization. Uh, this is a temperate planet. And it's not sterile, so I'll do that. Now, which system? Is it Sumalof that is our science? Yep, this guy doing the science. 641 science. Uh, so powerful. Um, and we've got two cold planets. Let's uh, change those to science specializ specialization. As a matter of fact, nah, I'm gonna leave that one at dust. We don't need to have 100% science specialization. All right, so we've got that ship is idle. That fleet is idle. Put you on guard patrol idle and uh, this one you're also going to be on what is your objective uh-huh uh, are you attacking me I don't get it I think that was a threat for them to attack me all right so the militarists are have a huge advantage um, did we uh, one turn of anarchy okay next election is after the anarchy ends which makes sense all right um, looks like not all of our fleets are producing anything now. This is a newer fleet, right? We should colonize that planet, I guess. Um, and, yeah, we are producing food, but it's all going to industry right now because we don't have, uh, we don't have the, uh, room for any growth. So we'll just set up a couple of little things there that I don't need to worry about. Looks like all of our other systems are building things. Great. All right, enter. Okay, so we want to back the ecologists. I still like them. I believe the militarists are going to win, but we're going to back the ecologists anyways because I do. Uh, if uh, 
if Sean be can become the political leader, we get some good bonuses on our uh, on our resource production. But I don't know that the ecologists are ever going to like I feel like the militarists are going to be in charge basically forever because uh, everything we build boosts the militarist uh, ethos. Yep. So, um, what are the pacifists in second place? Wow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so, um, Master Detang remains the leader of our government, but that having three parties being representative really should help our happiness, including at whatever that, whatever that, um, uh, thing is uh yeah whatever that thing is that um was our uh quest there we go all right own the system reward we got five back ah uh, there we go uh so i shower them with gifts with love five you should have known better than to challenge me with nothing other than your charisma remember that i have that charisma as well they turned you in, little five, and now you kneel before me and beg to serve. Yes, five, you will serve me well. All right, so we've gotten our friend five over. Um, well, I'm not going to be able to do any of those. Oh, okay. So that's three ecologist laws. Can't do that. 756. We're actually very close to the power one. Glory own three systems of level three. I don't think we're at the level three thing yet, but I actually would. Let's do that one because we will get there. Your oh, I should have read the story. Is a source of uh oh no. Where did you guys come from? I don't like that. It's probably a bad thing. Grave defeat. So, we have lost our system, I believe, of McKay. Yep, we lost McKay. That's not good. Alright, so we've got five. Joined our empire. Yeah, that's fine. He is a militarist. Um, let's move our ships. Now we're going to have to try to take McKay back. But look at this. We've gotten a whole bunch of ships here all of a sudden. So let's, uh, let's start with the ones that are weaker. Uh, we can't change leaders around within here. Uh, if I select all, I can't have them attack like that. I guess what I could do is shift the ships around to where, to where the seventh radiate shoal has uh, has uh, uh, the, basically the one with the leader. I want that to have um, the best ships in it. I want it to have Carol twos. Um, I also don't want that Ed to be involved. All right, let's have. I guess we're just going to go through and start attacking. Oh, okay. Well, this is a lot easier because they their ships took off, which is a strange approach, but they're probably heading towards another system. All right. Okay, so they've got some... Uh, that's fine. Let's go with this one. And they retreated, which is good. Um, now, can we... Uh, Did they, uh, did they just, like, destroy our, so I need to send a colony ship down here. Um, that's right, that's how that works. They just wipe out all of your, uh, wipe out all of your population, and then you have to send a new colony ship down.
Uh, and then we can move some new population in there, but I think we lost all of our... Um, I think we lost all of our buildings and everything that we had going on here, which is it's a real drag. Okay, so everybody's lost their movement points as well, so no point in trying to make them move this turn. Uh, we've got our new government type. Got a bunch of empty instruction queues. Holy mackerel, they've already... Oh, wait. That must have been a terraforming that we just finished. I was going to say, they've already uh, filled up the population on the new planet we just colonized, but that's not right. Alright, so I could terraform you to snow, which would not really do a whole lot, so I don't know that that's worthwhile. And if we terraform you to step, we would lose science and a little bit of dust, gain a little bit of industry, and gain more population room. Um, and actually, these guys all prefer uh, hot planets. Um, so, you know what? Let's go ahead and terraform you to step. That's fine. I don't want to terraform you down. I think I'm going to leave you alone. Now, what's this? Expanded mines. Plus two resource generation on strategic resource deposits. Do we even have strategic resource deposits? We have that, that uh, antimatter that we can't use yet. So there's no point in doing that right now. And we've got a ship that's just sitting, doing nothing, serving us no good. We haven't even built the National Museum. This is our home system. All right. Um, what else do we got going on? Firmer. Firmer's very happy. Firmer produces something that we actually could use more of. It's expensive. 16 per turn. But if it produces two more... Hyperium, uh, we will. Uh, it'll it'll be worth it because we could sell it for more than sixteen every turn. All right, and we've got another Carol sitting with you as well. Um, next up, Storm Dog, newly colonized planet, which is nice. I don't see any anomalies that need to be bought out. We've got a Carol sitting there. Um, you don't really have anything else you could be making. Just build some more carols. Alright, that's good. You're good. We've got an anomaly. Um, are we producing... Producing Hyperium here as well. Let's get those expanded mines. Wow, this must be an industrial powerhouse. We can build those expanded mines in one turn. Dang. Alright, everything else is done. Wait a minute, did I build... Oh, I only built the one beautifier. Ah, that's what's coming next, also. Okay, a uh, bunch of idle ships. Let's gather up infirmer. Are you pointing me to here? I'm gonna send you guys over here. That's fine. You, up to firmer. These ships, of course, are all waiting. No, nope, there we go. Um, I would like to upgrade you, so I'm going to send you up there so you can upgrade. Now, I don't know why you can't move this turn either. It's strange. Alright, you guys are upgraded, so I don't need to worry about that. You're upgraded, so I'm going to leave you there. And you are not upgraded, so I'll send you down there. Alright. Uh, you are guarding, which is fine. Oh, it's a new ship. I um, guess I'll send you up here. Now, I don't want perfect negotiations right now, because I need to get the that thing. That's only three turns to get that? Oh, okay. That's not the one that I need. There's the one that I need. It's that one right there. So I need to get another technology in here. Oh, I didn't know that there was a mutually exclusive technology there. Um, hmm. So this would be improved defense against projectiles. So you know what? They all seem to have projectiles. Let's go for that. All right. And then can I can I indicate this one to be the one to follow up? I guess not. It's going to be very expensive though. 
16,000. That's only eight turns. We can afford it. It's, it's the same as whatever we're studying currently anyway. Uh, and that should give us a big, um, a big boost militarily against the Bodiani. Uh, not really put us at a higher level than them, but it should put us on the same level as they are, which is almost as good. All right, we're going to upgrade you. And it's a good thing we're building more of that, um, increasing our production of Hyperium because uh, we're going to definitely need a lot of it. Most of the stuff that we're building is um, going towards Hyperium. Uh, now, I was going to... I was going to transfer this guy to be in a military general, right? But then he got suddenly super sciency, so I'm not going to transfer him to be in a military general. What systems could use a governor? Christian 1999, for sure. Probably be the best option. It's producing a lot of stuff. So, there you go, five. Oh, yeah, and we need to... Um... All right. Let's uh, let's take a look here. I've actually been very bad about keeping up with the uh, with the names, um, and uh, I'm not really going to be any better at it right now because I don't have my list in front of me. Oh, hey, look at that! There's a, uh, a beautiful photo, and uh, I'll open up that file, and then we'll get back to that. Um, and if I go to, that's going to make that come back up again. There we go. Um, so, uh, five here will be Alex RM. Thank you, Alex RM, for leaving comments. I appreciate it. And you are going to be a governor. Um, and I've already assigned you your, uh, uh, I've already assigned you, right? Didn't I assign you to Christian 1999? I did. Very good. Thank you. Um, there's that. that I'm not worried about. Construction complete. Great. Everything's done. Constructing. And that's the end of the turn. End turn. Oh. Uh, we do want to try to get to uh, level 3. Um, level 3 thingies. Minus one battle duration on system. I'm not really sure what that means. Huh. Okay. It's a defensive thing, so that's cool. A uh, new trading company. I can build a new trading company. That's nice. Uh, population is being abducted. That's not so nice. Battle at Sumalof. That doesn't sound good. Um, yep, they are badass. They're still focused entirely on projectiles. So luckily we are focused on beams. I'm not sure why it um, divides everybody into two battle groups. I'd rather you guys just stay in one battle group. I don't quite know what that means. Um, no, hey, what? All right. Yeah, I want you at long range. That's good. Yeah, uh, weird. Ah, got it. Okay. Um, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, let's just fight. I mean, these guys... Yeah. Not going to do so great. Now, where is this? Oh, that's down there. Shit. Those guys are fast. They did not waste any time getting down there. So I thought that I thought that the bad guys had headed up north, but they headed down this way. So we're gonna change the destination of of our uh, ships that are heading out here. Come down here, see if we can save Sumalov. Can't afford to repair them. Wow, that's expensive. Um, but, you know, I mean, not much we can do. I try to fight these guys best we can. It's a, uh, uh, shit, we're not going to be able to get that, um, get this Carol out. 
and put it in uh, put it in there. So at least there's that. We're gonna be able to let's try it. Let's see if we can get the beautifier to break the blockade. Ah, oh, good, it can. So that'll get us started on McKay again. You guys, oh, that's an Ed. Um, oh, you're already there. Good. Just rest, please. And uh, I've got some empty construction queue. Z, some empty construction queues. Uh, another trading company. I guess why not? Um, would we do well to expand the mining thing? We wouldn't. Sumalov. Still don't quite get what that does, but we could use more defenses, so why not? We'll find out what it does, I guess, maybe. And uh, over here we've got a ship. Actually, you should just go there. Uh, and that's it for the idle ships, isn't it? We are doing okay on Hyperium, not great. Um, let's check this market. So, I can't... Oh wait, I... So I could have level 3 modernization. Why did I not have... I do. What was that quest? I could have swore the quest was to have three... Yeah, own three systems of level 3. I have three systems of level 3. Maybe it, I need three systems of level four? Hmm. I don't know. But I, I have, I definitely have multiple systems of level three. As a matter of fact, I can just go right there and see. Colony three, colony three, colony three. So they're all level three, except for Crass. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's a little behind. Sure, why not? We'll get that. We'll get that solved. All right, end of turn, I guess. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Tough stuff here. They're gonna invade Sumalov again, I think. Or no, they gotta fight these ships off first, which shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, this Carol's done for. Gather up, you. Keep that going. Fight. Basically did no damage to those guys, but they didn't kill... Oh, wait. Uh, Alright, so I did do a little damage. And they killed pretty much everybody on my side. But we've got more ships coming in. Well, this time we're going to go on the offensive. Attack. No, uh, St. Trover. Confirm. I know, odds are stacked against us, but we got to, um, I mean, what are we going to do? We can't let you guys just destroy us. I just got to keep attacking. Ah, good, look at that. We killed two of their ships and they didn't kill either of ours? That's incredible. Now we can attack with the with the better fleet. Wear them down. It's, it's our best bet. Okay, so that one actually has a better short range, middle mid range for, for capability. Whatever, just go for it. It's fine. Minor victory! So nice! Look at that! We are wearing them down. Oh, you guys think you're so awesome. I'll show you who's awesome. It's my guys. They're awesome. Um, Alright. Instead of building more ships, let's build more money so we can maintain our existing navy uh, with repairs and upgrades and so forth. Um... 
All right, and we'll have a new trading thing here before too long. Not this episode, though, unfortunately, because this episode has come to an end. As soon as I... Why will you not let me... It's so weird. All right, I guess there's only one planet to colonize here. Now, will you let me zoom in? Thank you. Oh, and somehow it's fully inhabited and has all my stuff still on it. All right. I still don't quite understand how war works here. But we did destroy some of our um, stuff. It doesn't really look like we destroyed all that much. Or they destroyed. I guess it wouldn't have been me that would have destroyed. It would have been them. All right. And they're still fairly happy for some reason. Yeah, negative from ownership. We've been your overlords for, like, forever. Oh, suddenly we can colonize gas giants? I was not aware of that. Um, well, that's cool. Not the gas giant thing, although that is kind of cool. But the uh, it's more cool that the... Uh, I don't know, whatever. All right, and uh, that's too expensive for me to up to uh, to repair. I could upgrade that one though. Fine. Uh, up here, we've got several ships that we should merge, and I'm going to send you up there because we can see they've got that guy killing off our population. Um, down here, we've got a Carol too. That I'm going to send. To Sumalov. Population, blah, blah, blah. Alex RM has gained a level. Let's do the standard. And um, Christian 1999. Make, make us some. Oh, you know what? Let's do the uh, defensive thing because you're going to need it. And that all looks good. Um. Sumalaf, you have that defensive thing, right? Yep, so I don't need to worry about that. Constructions. Everybody's constructing something. Uh, we are fighting off the... Um, fighting... Oh. Let's attack down here. I don't need to worry about fiddling around with those guys. We're just going to fight them off. Decisive victory. It looks like they fled. I don't like them fly, flee, fleeing, flighting, flee, flooding. Anyways, I don't like them going down to Gorka. That's not where I want them to be, but, you know, what are you going to do? Um, all right, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'm still having a really good time. I feel like we're doing pretty good. Um, we will have uh, uh, increased command points here on the next turn, which will also be good that will boost us up um and then we'll get a new uh defensive capability and then we're going to jump into this um thing which will uh give us uh, uh uh considerably more command points um so you know i mean it's right now it's kind of going all military all the time which is not really what i want to be doing but these guys are pissing me off and we are going to kill them um, the downside is is that we can only really handle one more system before we start getting a lot of unhappiness. Um, and I guess we would have to focus some of our, our research on, on expanding that out, which is something. But that uh, has a fairly limited, you know, we're going to hit a cap on that too before too long. Um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click the like button. Uh, leave me a comment. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you Next time. Bye.